That platform, as we earlier mentioned, they do have the choice in this junior event. And opening the show, a massive cheer for Olga Bikovskaya from Azerbaijan, originally from Breda in the Netherlands. And she starts our competition with a forward one and a half somersault. Fairly straightforward dive to start. The familiar rules apply to the scoring here. You'll see all the judges' marks. You'll see the lines through our caption there. They're the discarded ones. And the three middle marks are the ones which are multiplied by the degree of difficulty. Anna Tasiak from Poland, I have to say, looking a little apprehensive there. She does. You can see her trying to control her breathing. She looks very nervous. Just 15 years of age. feel a lot better after that and that was a, a very nice clean tidy start she doesn't have too much to be nervous about with a start like that I expect she's relieved to have got her first dive cleanly out of the way 32.80 for the Polish nice tidy start for her Next up, Jana Pastiu of Romania, another 15-year-old. Hanging about at the top of the platform. Forward one and a half somersault. So we're going to see all the athletes opening with. See all the behind the scenes that they go to prepare in between the dives, 29.60. This is Saia Pavola of Finland. The judges really looking for full extension on that entry. Tight body position. Just 14 years of age and 31-23, 6.5. Alira Luko of Ukraine next to the take the platform. She really took her time to compose herself at the top of that board. I think it paid off. The crowd certainly appreciated it. Waiting for the scores, 33-60. Now, coming up next, one of the stars of the show, Yulia. Timoshinina already has a European Championship synchro diving gold medal at the senior level. One of the most experienced divers in this whole diving competition, 17-year-old from Moscow, former world Series competitor, European junior champion at this height, 32 points, a good start. Lee, Kimberly Lee from the Netherlands. The 
athletes looking for a smooth an entry as possible. That elusive rip, as it's called in diving. Go through their routines afterwards, the shower. Tamar Sitchinava from Georgia. First diver we've seen competing from that country. And choosing to open with a reverse dive. Whether that is anything to do with the amount of strapping on the shoulder and controlling the pain. Judges score, six and a half, six and a half. Gives her a very strong opening score of 38.0. From Russia again, Anna Kuminishena. Opening with an inward one and a half somersault. Notice that just before her dive, you see she's on the edge of the platform with a towel underneath her. Some of the divers like that, just gives her a bit of a feel of security. She's just 14 years of age. It's a long way down for a five foot two 14 year old. Nine points, steady start. Next up. Christina Sheshka, Belarus with a forward one and a half somersault. Very smooth entry for the Belarusian. Minimal splash there. Sounded nice as well, particularly on the platform event at RIP they talk about. Almost uh, close your eyes and know when you've had a good dive. You can certainly know when you've seen a bad one. Yuli Thorsen from Norway. One or two Norwegian divers on the main circuit, but they're not a country with a huge aquatics tradition. Not many outdoor pools. Crowd enjoying the excitement of the 10 metre platform. An encouraging start for the Norwegian. 36 points. Representing Dominika Mirovska, our 16 year old. Forward one and a half somersault. Remember, we're in the early compulsory stages of these dives. See the strapping on her left wrist. It really is a huge amount of pressure that goes through the athletes' wrists and hands as they try to break the water and make the entry as smooth as possible for the rest of their body to follow through. Opening score of 28 for the Polish. Iona Kurachan of Romania. Forward one and a half somersault. A bit heavy on the entry. Judges scores six, five and a half, six, six, six and a half, six and a half, six. 28, 80 down the sixes. Judges not have been 
throwing marks around like confetti so far today. And leaving space for improvement as we reach the finals for the first time later today. And the French athlete, Maysam Naji, not quite ready for her performance there. Just saw her jogging down to put her towel in position, and she is opting for the 7.5, the first athlete we're going to see go from this middle height platform. The obvious comment is there's not so much room and time to go through the routine you've opted for. One of her dives is uh, from the full height, and all the rest are from seven and a half. Six forty five and a half from Great Britain now, Lois Tolson. She was a silver medalist in the World Junior Championships, the fourteen to fifteen age range last year, just fifteen. What a nice entry. What a good way to open up her competition here. Yeah. These inaugural European Games. We have a noisy backing contingent and the rest of the team, the British divers. So uh, you'll hear plenty of support. Ellen Eck represents Sweden. She's 17. Supports on both of her wrists. And that was a forward one and a half somersault for the Swedish entry. Total of 31.2 is the average is of six and a half for her opener. Noah Lannan from the Netherlands next to dive. She's from the seven and a half meter board. There's quite a bit of junior championship experience into this competition at the younger level. So even though it was only from the 7.5 metre board, it was a difficulty of 1.8. We use the term only, only in comparative terms as well. For the average diver, the average person to go up there and look down, it is formidable. The speeds they hit the water at, but it's a very much a progressive sport when you uh, try to get into the uh, platform diving level. And Tugsen, this is another Norwegian diver. Very small entry indeed. That is what these divers are aiming for. Minimal amount of splash as possible. Consistent start. They're giving her 32.8. Representing Finland, Ellen Serka. Ellen Serka from Finland. You can just hear the difference in that dive compared to the last one, that splash, that bit louder. First objective is to push themselves away from that platform and make the dive perfectly safe.
Lanza Jan is representing Germany. She is a bronze medalist at the European Junior Championships two years ago. will be pleased to get their first dive out of the way. Forward one and a half somersault for Jan. A relatively consistent opening. 31.2. Another forward one and a half somersault. Now, interestingly, that dive is given the same level of difficulty whether it is from the 10 meter board or the seven and a half meter board. Just falling away on entry there a little bit, just not able to pull that dive all the way through the water. 29.60. From Ukraine now, Vlada Tatsenko. Fourth in the European Junior Championships a couple of years ago, just outside the medal frame, looking to improve on that. A lot of athletes choose to take the forward one and a half somersault as their opening dive. Completely get herself into the vertical position for the entry. Cost her a little, little bit. Elena Vassen from Germany now. 14 years of age. Look at that, that was a lovely entry. Crowd appreciating it. Full extension. Her body. And rewarded with the score, 35.2. Great way to start off her qualification bid. From Great Britain now, Shanice Lobb from uh, Plymouth, the diving club that started the career of Tom Daly, the world champion at this height. And you can hear the support for the great British athletes. If you look closely, you'll probably see the Union Jack flag waving. Is a good start for Shanice Lobb, 44.0. Quite a high degree of difficulty for her opening dive there. So we are back round to the beginning as we start round two of these eight rounds. Bikovskaya representing Azerbaijan. Ranked 13th after the opening round, 12 to qualify for the final later today. The crowd loving it. These athletes really will be excelling with this home support. It's a great opportunity for these young competitors. Azerbaijan starting pretty well for scratch. The athletes who've been representing them, quite a few of them do come from or were born elsewhere. Next up, Anna Tatjak from Poland, who looked so nervous with her first dive. Maybe now she's got that out of the way, she can relax a little bit into this inward one and a half somersault.
just slightly over rotating at the end but still consistent that was a difficulty of 2.0 so she will get the advantage of that once it's multiplied giving her a score of 35 representing Romania Ilona Bastille Back on the seven and a half meter board now for Iona Pastiu. It was one and a half somersaults, 2.1. The Romanian choosing to do the majority of her dives from the 7.5 board. 36.75, that's an improvement on her first score. Next up for Finland, Saya Pavola. Again from the seven and a half meter board. At the young end of the range of competitors here, just 14 years of age, girl from Helsinki. Thirty-seven point zero five. Marks there in the 6.5s, which give you a better indication, perhaps, in the total at this stage. Valeri Luko of Ukraine with an inward one and a half somersault. Difficulty of 2.0. This is Luko, just to emphasize. Inward one and a half somersaults. You can just hear the announcer introducing the Russian athlete, Yulia Timoshanina. She had a strong opening. So she can follow this up with an inward one and a half somersault. She's got plenty of top-level experience, primarily as a synchronized diver, which often can bring competitors diving on immensely. Only five foot one. Look at that, a couple of eights there. That's a belting score. Next up, Kimberly Lee from the Netherlands. She had a strong start of 28.8. And she's upping the difficulty with this inward one and a half somersault from the 10 meter platform. Really takes her time at the top of that board to fully compose herself. She'll be going through the motions in her head. She's only four foot eleven. Uh, having uh, six foot plus divers from the men at three meters. It's all about quality, not quantity. Sixty-one eighty. Tamar Sichinava from Georgia. Good to see the full range of countries being represented here as much as possible. That was a clean execution of the 1.8 rated back dive from the 10 meters for Sitchinava. It's a 32.4. Representing the Russian Federation, Anna Chunichena. 
Anna Tunishina from Russia. She's going to be performing the first arm stand we are going to see in this preliminary round. A forward somersault from this position. Now they need to get themselves into a position that shows the judges that they are in full control before releasing. Difficulty for the younger competitors with the arm stands is that they have to try and generate a bit of extra lift off that platform. And sometimes when you're fairly young, getting the power is hard. She's only 14, but, but eights is a very good return indeed for that dive. Christina Sheshka from Belarus taking to the 7.5 metre board. But it is a difficulty of 2.1, this inward one and a half somersault. She didn't make it look too difficult from where we're standing. Getting the odd seven. It's going to average out 6.5 and a 40.95 for the Belarusian athlete. From Norway, Julie Torsen, 15 years of age from Bergen. Reverse dive here. Perfectly setting her position before starting this dive. Diving out and then somersaulting backwards, as opposed to an inward dive when they're actually facing away from the pool. Dominika Mirowska of Poland coming up with an inward one and a half somersault. She had a relatively average start with a 28 points on that opening dive. there for the Polish diver 33.0 and the coach quickly in there with the explanation Iona Kirjan of Romania next that was a back one and a half somersault half twist Six is there, thirty six point zero. Next up, we've got Nazim Naji on the seven and a half meter platform. The water a bit with the back of her legs, which increased the splash. Tulson from Great Britain 
also at the slightly lower level. The concluding dives are all at 10 metres, but she started really well. And look at that for a perfect entry. That is what all the divers are looking for. What is known as a rip entry. It's good to see that the platform divers are bringing out the higher marks already. A little parsimonious one meter with the the nines, three eights there, and one judge really liking it. Ellen Eck of Sweden, currently 13th after her first dive. Eight dives in total for each athlete. And average for the scores, but it is a difficulty of 2.0. So that does bring her up a little bit and gives her a total of 36.0. Noor Lannan from the Netherlands steps forward. Her second dive after a good encouraging start. was a reverse dive again she's actually not going up to the 10 meter board until her final dive averaging sevens gives her a 38.55 and a tuxen next on the platform Seven and a half meter height. A bit untidy at the end there. That was a back one and a half somersault, half a twist. Quite a discrepancy in the judge's opinion, though. Four and a half, right up to six and a half. They average out 28. Ellen Serka from Finland. In with one and a half somersault. Wait here. And she wanted to fully compose herself. As I think any of us would if we were standing on that 10 meter board just by your tiptoes. But a good score worth that weight 41.0. Fritze Jan, representing Germany. She just seemed to fold ever so slightly as she entered the water. Most cautious uh, takeoff position is just a little bit back from the edge. Some divers, the toes are right over the edge, they're right as far forward as they can get. Inez Hummel from France, diving from seven and a half meters using that towel as she gets into the position for the inward one and a half somersault up on tiptoes. Needs to push herself well away from that platform. And 
And that's actually a difficulty of 2.1. That's purely because the 7.5 meter board, there is less time to execute the dive and get into that perfect, taut vertical position. Now when you times those scores by 2.1, it does give her a strong score of 40.95. Vlada Tetsenko from Ukraine. She's 13th. Remember, a few of the marks will be level at the moment. 12 to qualify. Another fairly high dive on the difficulty rating 2.1 2.0 sorry representing Germany Elena Vassen we have Elena Vassen of Germany taking another inward one and a half somersaults for her second choice of dive Entry, I think. Let's see if the judges are equally pleased. Judges scores eight, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half. Listening eight. to the commentator, it sounds like they are. Forty-nine points there. And completing the lineup is Shanice Lobb, who opened with a strong dive of 44 points, pulling her second in the ranking. Well, Shanice Lobb supporters loving that performance she did open with a 44 storming start and I think we just heard the announcer give her a nine well late wait for confirmation of that and look at that one of the judges did award a nine a 40 points in total for the British athlete Twelve is the crucial stage there, you can see. Two rounds before they two rounds more before they hit the free dives where they can uh, choose their own unrestricted, providing they go through at least four different aspects of diving. Forwards, inwards, backwards, etc. Reverse and twisted. Coming back to the start, this is Olga Bikovskaya from Azerbaijan. Not hanging about at the top there. I think momentum take her as she starts the movement with her feet from that handstand position. Judges score seven and a half, six, six, six and a half. Six and a half, five and a half, six. Next up, it's Anna Tasiak from Poland. She's just below the required cutoff, but we saw in the preliminary competition for the men's three, uh, one meter rather, that so much can change in the latter stages when the dives get more complex let alone at uh, 10 or 7.5 metres. A 
that was a back dive in the pike position. So straight legs required in a pike. Not looking ecstatic with that result. Giving her a total of 34.2. Coach has a few things to say about it. We're getting the right balance between encouragement and a few stern words. Iona Pastillo, Romania, next to dive. One point nine, the tariff on that reverse dive. 33.25 is her return. Now, Molly more pressurised competitors, perhaps, if she's in 14th place, will feel that she's got a chance of making the final, but has a long way to go. This is the third of eight rounds, remember. Mac won the half somersault with half a twist. Difficulty of 2.0. She went a long way down under the water. But these diving pools are very deep, so that's not a problem. It is purely about making that entry. Once you're underneath the water, the judges do not mind what you do. Valeria Diulko from Ukraine, ninth place after two rounds. Reverse dive, 1.9. Crowd loving that smooth entry. She is quick to get out of the pool. To find the feedback from her coach. Sevens across the board. Now here comes the very experienced Timoshinina. Arm stand forward somersault. Up into that gymnastic position. Show the control. Sound on entry. You can see the amount of extension through the shoulders and the elbows as they start that dive. Another strong score for the Russian. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee from the Netherlands. Eindhoven. Small but strong, this diver. Not the best entry she'd be hoping for. From Eindhoven, her club is PSV, which football fans would know only too well. It's a Massive sporting club, sponsored by the local electrical goods company. 34.20. Tamar Sitchanava of Georgia. Not far for the Georgian team to travel to this European Games. Comparatively. forward one and a half somersaults the easiest of her chosen eight dives 1.6 degree of difficulty for her third performance 
32.0. Next up, Anna Chunishena from Russia. Second after the opening two dives. Back dive worth 1.8 here. We are used to seeing Russia dominate on the European scene, at least. Yes, we are seeing China compete for those top medals, but we expect the Russians to really do well across the board in this diving event. She's only 14. She's competing in FINA Grand Prix events, getting vital experience. Next up, Christina Sheshka, Belarus. And the arm stand to be completed before the former somersault. Well, just about completed. She was virtually straight through into the movement. She did not hang about there, whether the judges will penalise that for lack of control. Scores from the judges, four and a half, six. And it a looks bit, didn't that variety of scores from the judges looks like they might have disagreed slightly on that. Julie Thorson from Norway, sixth after two dives. She too has an arm stand to perform before the forward somersault. Again, a little bit hurried with it. It really does require such control. An arm stand in the first instance is not an easy manoeuvre, but doing it from the 10 metre board, such skill. 29.5 the total for Torsen. Nerve as well, more than anything. Dominika Mirowska of Poland. A reverse dive of 1.9 difficulty. She was so straight in the air, and then just as she starts to enter the water. Managed to maintain that elite position. Reached the final of the European Junior Championships on the platform last year. Would be hoping for at least the same this time around. This is Iona Sirjan from Romania. Her way up into an arm stand, wrestling with it a little bit. Now she's there. See the divers using different methods to get into that position, and that's not what counts. It's how controlled you are once you are in that full extension. Total score for this dive, 35.15. Mesam Naji from France, next to dive. She's a bit off the pace at the moment. for something higher than fives that she scored on her last dive. It'll get multiplied by 1.9 for that level of difficulty. And her best score yet. Lois Thompson. 
Now up next for Britain. This is Luis Toulson from seven and a half meters. Forward one and a half somersaults with one twist. Ready to run and launch herself forwards. Well, she was leading the rankings after two dives, and I think she will still be leading after that third. Big range of marks there. Still a good score, but she got a nine down to seven and a half. Ellen Eck from Sweden. She does look young. Some of these divers, this really is a big competition for them. She is 17 years of age. She looks a little young. She'll be grateful of that in the full time ahead of her. Good score there. 41.8. From the Netherlands, Noor Lennon. Eighth. Two point one is the degree of difficulty inward one and a half. Just a little twitch almost before she launched herself there. They all have a have a trigger which uh, starts the movement and they're ready to go. She certainly was unhurried there at the top of the platform. It's almost like getting the yips. You don't quite get your routine smooth. The highest yet just after 38.5 in the round before. Anna Tuxen of Norway with a reverse dive rating 1.9 in a pike position. Taking her time to fully compose herself from this 10 meter platform. That was the first time that the Norwegian athlete opted to go up to that 10 meter platform. She will be returning there for later dives. She was uh, competing in Rostock in the Grand Prix earlier this year in February. Good experience. Ellen Serka, Finland. On to her third dive of eight. Opting for the 10 metre board. They back dive in pike position. Not afraid to take her time. Really deep into the water there. She just concentrated on maintaining that perfect position as she entered the water all the way through until her feet had disappeared under the surface. Thirty-six ninety there. Up next is Florence Jan of Germany. Trying to keep on the qualification pace. She needs to 
have a few good dives as she is 16th ranked after just the two dives. Let's see if this one can help get her any closer towards top 12 needed for qualification later this evening. Seven and a half. Fairly decent return. Now, Ines Hummel of France. She had a slow start, but moved herself up to 11th of that second dive. She lost her shape a little bit there on entry. Just see legs starting to fall towards the water rather than being kept strongly upright to see her falling away. Scores reflecting that 23.75 scores four and a half. Lada Tatsenko. Lada Tatsenko of Ukraine. She dropped a little after that second dive, so she'll be wanting to improve a bit now with this back dive in pipe position. Senko, one of those athletes opting to do all eight of her dives from the 10 meter board. It is the height that these athletes will have to compete at when they move up to senior level. Some of them still early in their career using the lower boards to get their confidence up. And the technique as well. Elena Vassen from Germany. Third to date after two dives into the arm stand forward somersault position. See a little bit of a push with the arms, some of the is not quite managing to do that, but for her age, very strong indeed. And Shanice Lobb, fourth, is our 24th diver to go at the end of this third round. Reverse dive point 1.9. Great environment for these junior athletes to get to compete at. Brand new facility here in Baku. Good entry that. Shani Slob. And she just improves on her last dive. That's a 41.8. Averaging seven, seven and a half. She'll be happy at this stage. Here is the leaderboard after three rounds. Louise Tolson leading. Two out of the three at the top come from Great Britain. The two Russians together there as well. Silica of Finland just making the cut at the moment. Very quickly into round four. Olga Bikovskaya from Azerbaijan leads us off. A reverse dive, and the divers need to get out far enough away from the platform. Averaging six and a half for her. Anna Tasiak of Poland here, ranked 17th, and the last in the compulsory section. degree of difficulty will increase for Tatjak. She's chosen some 
higher ranked dive. She'll be moving up to 2.8 for her next one. This reverse dive just to 1.9 gives her a total of 38. She still looks a bit uncomfortable. Iona Pastiu of Romania back in 19th. The back one and a half somersault, half twist. Past you, chose as her final compulsory dive. Half, 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 Another arm stand. She'll be going into a forward somersault from this position. Her first dive on this 10 meter platform. That is in this competition, of course. She'll be happy to have put her first dive off from the 10 meter. Solid marks there as well. On now to Valeria Liulko from Ukraine. She's currently comfortably inside that top 12. The crucial number to make it into tonight's final. You can see she's fixing on a point and going through a routine before starting the actual diving routine. It went a bit awry at the end there. Just making the point about fixing your eye on the gaze. The uh, announcer in the pool is nagging at the start of the day about no flash photography, no noise was worthwhile for discipline. Now back to Yulia Timoshinina. As you see, currently in fourth position after just three dives. Forward one and a half somersault, one twist. The most difficult dive yet, but they are going to get much more challenging for the Russians. She's really pushing herself later on in this qualifying round. Consistent score in the 40s again, I think that's going to be. And a 44.1. Sevens consistently there. On now to Kimberly Lee from the Netherlands. Armstand forward somersault. It's really tricky to get this balance perfectly right. She's taking her time to get up to that perfect extension, struggling a little. She got there in the end. So important to start with the correct position to have any hope of finishing in the correct position. Next up, Tamar Sitchinava of Georgia. Currently in 16th, she'll be hoping to move up those crucial four places by the time she finishes her eighth dive. This is dive number four. Good extension of the legs, very pointed toes. 
Proven on her last two dives. And that's purely down to the degree of difficulty. It was a 2.1. We are back to the second Russian athlete, Anna Tunishina. A reverse dive again from the 10-meter board. Fifth place and going along nicely at the moment. That's a good height off that platform. Holding it nicely right through the dive. And getting late in there, but still 42.75. Nice outcome there. Christina Shishka of Belarus. Staying on the seven and a half meter board at the halfway stage. You could really hear that takeoff as she exploded through her feet to give herself as much momentum and height as possible for that forward one and a half somersault, one twist. Not high score, so it's 33.6. Uli Thorsen of Norway, ranked 11th, just above the cut. Remember, we're looking for 12 finalists to compete for the medals later today. Busy opening day for the divers, first of four days. Fairly large splash followed her entry. She would have felt that as she went under the surface. So Thirty-one point zero. Five. Five and a half. Dominic Mirosky. A little bit further down the rankings, Dominika Mirovska. She needs to really pull out some moves to make it into tonight's final. And that might be an improvement on her earlier dives. Forward one and a half somersault, one twist. She's looking back to see if the scores are up yet. And it is a slight improvement. Scoring sixes, six and a half. Iona Kurjan of Romania in 18th, so she could still put herself into that final with a few good dives. That was a reverse dive in Pike. She's another athlete who is sticking to the 10 meter board for all of her eight performances this morning. But the judge is not appreciating that, averaging a five. Mason Naji getting a good round of applause from the crowd for that inward one and a half somersault. Great Judge extension seven, seven, to her seven, legs seven, six, half, on that entry. Her best nine, score yet, and averaging six and a half and sevens.
Louise Toulson, or Lewis Toulson, perhaps better pronounced, from Great Britain. Having a very good start to her European Games leading at the moment. What a wonderful entry for that back dive difficulty of 1.8. So not that high on the difficulty scale. So perfect execution is essential for a high score. Very nice indeed, 43.20. She is going along beautifully at the moment. Ellen Eck from Sweden next to dive. She's ninth at the moment. Forward one and a half somersault, one twist. This is just reaching towards the end of the fourth round. This will be the halfway point through qualification for this women's platform event. 40.95 straight six and a halves that count there. Noor Lennon representing the Netherlands. Currently in sixth, putting herself in very strong contention. She's got a bronze medal in the European Junior Championships before, so got some form, 15 years of age. Hold it. I think that started to go a little bit wrong. She wasn't quite fixed in position in that arm stand position up at the seven and a half meter board. And you will see on the repeat. She does over-rotate on entry. Might just have made her life a little bit more difficult, though still only at the halfway stage for her. 25-20, that's uh, poorish. Anna Tuxen down in 20th with her fourth dive coming up. Long wait, very composed. Showing some maturity there and really making the most of the time allowed and focusing herself entirely Judges on the scores. job at hand. Two European Junior Championships eight, behind eight, her, so she knows the game, knows what it's about. The 8.30. Looks like that composure paid off there. Ellen Serka. Now it's Ellen Serka from Finland, 12th, so she doesn't have an awful lot of room to spare. You can just see that focus on the divers faces before they start the movement. Just felt she slapped the legs go a little bit there, which spoiled it slightly, 37.05. Renza Jan. Renza Jan. Is next up. She's eighth now. 2.1 the tariff on this forward one and a half somersault with a twist. She is sticking to the 10 meter board for all of these eight dives. And really going to be upping her game as she moves into the fifth round. With some quite difficult dives to come up for the German. She should 
be fairly pleased with sevens averaging there. We'll put her in good contention as she starts to up her game later on. Minis Hummel from France. She's way down the uh, order at the moment. This is a arm stand forward somersault. The 16 year old. Just her momentum carrying her over a little bit there. 31.50. Total score for this dive, 31.50. Vlada Tatsenko. Vlada Tatsenko of Ukraine. Currently in 14th, one of those crucial positions. But still, she's got five dives to go, including this one, this reverse pike. One point nine level of difficulty to multiply her scores by. Looked pretty clean. Greatest uh, height position. Snatching at it just a little. Can get that forward right down to the knees really tight. Thirty two thirty. We've got two strong divers to end with here. Elena Vassen of Germany, currently second at the halfway stage. What a strong start by the 14-year-old. She is showing such maturity in this event. I don't know if I imagine that, but it looked like she did a little bit of a smile as she was under the water. We caught with the camera. She might be pleased with her dive. Good up hand position there. Pushing a hole in the water. And well, she good has, marks. She has reason to be happy there. Averaging eight. So putting the pressure onto our next athlete. Ranked third, Shani Slob of Great Britain. On the tariff on that. Really had a good start to the competition here. Just need at this stage to keep it nice and solid. Let's have a look at her score as we come to the end of this fourth round. Three sevens. 44.10.